What is our power? Our power is we are working with these characters that we love that are known around the world for decades. What is our responsibility? Make it great. One of the emotions or thoughts that the audience may have is, I can tell this was made by fans for fans. Nuff said, Bill. Nuff said. But regardless, welcome back, true believers, and all you spectacular Spidey fans and merry Marvelites out there to a very exciting Marvel Spider-Man 2 and broader Marvel Games related video. Where if you've been keeping up with all the latest news recently, is that there has been quite a lot of exciting announcements lately pertaining to Marvel Games. And primarily with all the projects that they have currently going on within their production pipeline. Mainly in the cases of Marvel's Wolverine, Marvel 1943, Rise of Hydra, Marvel Rivals, as well as the upcoming Blade, Black Panther, and Iron Man games, and of course, the continuation of Insomniac's Spider-Man franchise. Not to mention even more Marvel games that are currently in development, which we don't even officially know about yet. So, in short, everybody, is that it is a damn good time to be a fan of AAA Marvel games. And based on this latest news report, is that it looks like Marvel games as a whole is about to get even bigger and better. So, if you're hyped to dive into this news with me, then definitely be sure to whip that like button and subscribe to the channel for even more Marvel Spider-Man 2 and Marvel Games videos down the line. Now, this latest Marvel Games news is so big that it was actually shared directly by the Vice president and head creative director at the company himself with the one and only Bill Roseman. Where in a brand new article which was written and shared by GamesBeat on social media, Disney has promoted and hired new gaming industry veterans that show it's getting more serious about games. Now this article does a great job of fully breaking down each individual industry veteran's personal background and where Disney has acquired them from across various developers within the gaming industry. Industry. Specifically in the cases of Ray Gresco, who was the former chief development officer over at Blizzard, as well as Bjorn Torkvist, who was a technology expert from Ubisoft. So if you want to learn more about each of these individuals and their gaming industry backgrounds, I will make sure to leave a link to this article in the description below. But in the case of this video is that I mainly want to go over all the details that surround Marvel games, and what exactly all this means for the future of the company itself. And as it was written by the article is that Disney has promoted and hired new gaming industry veterans that show it's getting more serious about games. It includes the promotion of games lead Sean Shopta to executive vice president. The hires come on the heels of Disney's $1.5 billion investment in Epic Games to build a Disney Fortnite universe, and CEO Bob Iger's positive comments about investing in games to go after new audiences. In those comments, Iger said Disney and Epic are building a games and entertainment universe to further expand the reach of beloved Disney stories and experiences. Now, Disney is adding veteran games industry leaders with experience creating persistent digital worlds enjoyed by millions of players, which is something that we've actually already seen take effect within the Marvel games side of things, considering that the main individual who is leading the upcoming Marvel 1943 game is none other than Amy Hennig, who obviously obviously is the main creator and writer of the Uncharted series. And furthermore, we even had the creation recently of a brand new game studio directly dedicated on making the upcoming Black Panther game with Cliffhanger Studios. So it's already pretty awesome to see just how dedicated both Disney and Marvel are to try and provide brand new and authentic experiences to their player base, which is something that will only continue to grow down the line. Jay Ong, after nearly a decade leading leading the Marvel Games team, will now lead the global games licensing business across all franchises. Ong has over 25 years of games industry experience at Marvel, Blizzard Entertainment, and Xbox, and has been instrumental in launching global successes, including the Marvel Spider-Man series, Marvel Snap, Marvel Contest of Champions, and Marvel Strike Force, among others. Now, along with Jay, as well as the other gaming industry leaders, is that these executives will report directly to Shopta, who has been promoted to Executive Vice President. Sean oversees Disney's games global business, including the 
recently announced collaboration with Epic Games. Iger credited Shoptaw for convincing him that Disney had to focus more on games to catch young consumers and turn them into lifelong Disney fans. Shoptaw has led Disney games business to deliver strong results, since it shifted to a licensing business model in 2016, working closely with best-in-class developers and publishers to deliver industry-leading hits. To date, Disney mobile games have garnered more than 1.5 billion global installs, and nine Disney game franchises have each grossed more than $1 billion in sales. And Undoubtedly, I'm sure that at least one of those franchises has to go to the Marvel Spider-Man series developed by Insomniac Games. Where specifically in the case of Marvel Spider-Man 2 is that that game has officially sold over 10 million copies ever since February of this year. And it was also deemed as the fastest selling PlayStation Studios game of all time. And what's more is that the entire Marvel Spider-Man series as it stands right now has officially sold more than 50 million copies since December of 2023. So yeah, the Marvel Spider-Man game series is an official slam dunk for everyone over at PlayStation, Marvel, and Disney. And it only reassures us that we're going to receive even more amazing Marvel gaming experiences from Insomniac down the line. But more importantly is that I do thoroughly appreciate Sean Shoptaw's extreme passion for the gaming medium in its entirety, and not only realizes just how much revenue that they can garner from these experiences, but above all else is directly making brand new games that thoroughly connects with the audience that will be playing them, which will only end up leading to even more engaging and innovative experiences that will be made underneath the Disney and Marvel games banner, which I for one absolutely cannot say about another game studio with Warner Brothers games, and their current direction which they're going on with David Zaslav essentially confirming that they will be doubling down on the live service game genre for all their Warner Brothers franchises. And of course, the biggest defender of this recent trend has to go to Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, where, to put it bluntly, is a total and utter failure. And knowing that Disney and Marvel games specifically are going to be heading in the absolute opposite direction, couldn't make me happier. And speaking of Disney and Marvel Games' current direction, is that the article continues to state is that Haluk Mentez, who has played a pivotal role in the success of Marvel Games over the past eight years, while driving portfolio strategy and business development, will now lead the Marvel Games team, and will work alongside other senior games executives, all reporting to Ong, including Kerry Chen, who is the Vice President of Marketing, John Drake, who is the Vice President of Business Development and Licensing, Luigi Priori, who is the Vice President of Disney, Pixar, and 20th Century Games, Douglas Riley, who is the Vice President of Lucasfilm Games, and Will Rosas, who is the Vice President of Creative. And to cap off this article with a quote from the Disney Consumer Products President of Tastia Filipados, is that under the leadership of Sean and Jay, Disney's games business is perfectly positioned to deliver world-class storytelling in this medium. We're grateful to every member of the Disney Games team who has contributed to our success, and who will help shape the future of this industry through genre-defining entertainment. And the only logical thing that I can think of after reading all that news is that I have to give a huge bravo to every single person working under Disney. Keep in mind that this news doesn't just directly relate to Marvel games, but all the other games that are currently in production underneath the Disney games banner, which also obviously includes things like Star Wars, Kingdom Hearts, and so many other beloved franchises. So knowing that all these gaming industry leaders within Disney know full well just how passionate people are about the games that they play, and seeing that they are going to pour that same exact amount of love and passion within every other game that is being made within the Disney games production pipeline, and specifically in the case of Marvel games, is literally a dream come true true for a die-hard Marvel gamer like me. And knowing that we've already received some pretty outstanding Marvel games gems in the past, like that of the Marvel Spider-Man series, as well as Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, just to name a few, I can only imagine what the future has in store for any and all upcoming Marvel games titles. But with all that said, everybody, that's the video I have for all you today, and please let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think about this absolutely outstanding 
trending Marvel games news, and on a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you for the future of Marvel games? Let me know what you think, be sure to leave a like on the video, and subscribe to the channel if you'd enjoy, and for more Marvel games videos like this in the future. Thank you all so much for watching, stay spectacular Spidey fans, and stay merry Marvelites, and until next time, peace out.